I'm Timothy John Frederick Sassoon, the great, great, great grandson of David Sassoon by his third son, Sassoon David Sassoon, and the Sassoons of Ashley Park, UK. I'm here on a kind of a rainy day in Santa Monica, California, uh, to wish the uh, David Sassoon Library and Reading Room my heartiest congratulations on its 150th founding year, uh, which is remarkable. And my uh, sincerest thanks to everyone involved in the library who has been instrumental in keeping it going and it's such a uh, vital and thriving institution in Mumbai for these past 150 years. David Sassoon was born in Baghdad in October 1792 and died at Pune in November 1864. He was a merchant and a banker by profession. Following increasing persecution of Baghdadi Jews, the family moved to Bombay via Persia. The history of development of Bombay and its benevolent institutions is inseparably associated with his family name, the Sassoon Dock. The first wet dock in Western India was constructed by his family firm, David Sassoon and Company. He started business in Bombay and exported silver, gold, silk, gums and spices, opium and cotton to China and all over Southeast Asia. The library began in 1847 as the Bombay Mechanics Institute in a room under the clock tower of Dockyard in Fort. Till David Sassoon donated money and helped to set up its present premises. It was named as Sassoon Mechanics Institute. I believe that what this city needs and has always needed is a stronger cultural affinity towards writing, music, theatre and other things. It is increasingly being a city driven by business. We call it the commercial capital of India. But Mumbai was once the cultural capital of India also. And that needed to be strengthened, which is one reason why I have always tried to support causes like the David Sassoon Library. one of the first buildings to come up on the esplanade after the demolition of the fort walls. Till the 1860s, Bombay as a city was in a fortification 
And by the 1860s, there was the outbreak of a plague. And Bartle Frere, who was then the governor of Bombay, decided that the demolition of the fort walls would help the city grow and break out of that uh, medieval mindset. What happened as a result was that Mahatma Gandhi Road, as we see it, was where the fortifications were and the fort walls were brought down, demolished, and the ditch or the moat in front of it was filled up. And that gave a great scope of expansion for the city of Bombay to grow into a 19th century Victorian city. So parcels of land were auctioned, uh, and among these parcels of land that were auctioned, uh, one was picked up by, by the Jewish philanthropist David Sassoon to build the Mechanics Institute because this building is really very close to the naval dockyards and all the young men who were avid mechanics and shipbuilders and model makers would congregate here to discuss architectural and marine models and engineering. And this was then turned into the Sassoon Mechanics Institute and the building was constructed in the Victorian Gothic style between 1867 and 1870. In the year 1939, the Sassoon Mechanics Institute was renamed as David Sassoon Library and Reading Room. This public library is a magnificent edifice, not just of, for knowledge and education or providing access to books to people, but just as a work of architecture. It's beautiful and right in the midst of the city, right in the heart of the culture district, you have the David Sassoon Library. It is very precious. atmosphere of this library is that you won't find such type of library in whole Mumbai city. You can study, you can relax, you can have a, your evening walk also in the garden. I just happened to uh, enter David Sassoon Library, uh, took an ordinary membership there and very soon I found that it was the best place to be for studies and meditate. So I converted that to life membership and so it's been like almost more than 20 years now. Actually, I wanted to join Indian Air Force. I was doing flying in 1972. And when the flying club closed down, I switched over and appeared for the police exams. And I got selected as a police officer. I did all my studies in this library for my graduation level also, and when I was competing for my police exams also. The library is managed as per its constitution by the committee elected from among the members. However, the dedicated staff members help in day-to-day -day affairs for its smooth functioning. Considering that India has only 3,900 protected national monuments, it becomes very important that a city like Mumbai, which does not even have one single 
ASI protected site on the island city was able to find a means to protect its beautiful colonial and 19th century heritage. And David Sassoon Library stands among the tallest as the grade one heritage of Mumbai, which basically means that everything from its exterior to its interior is worthy of very careful protection. And it stands as one of the finest specimens of architecture and historical buildings that we have in the city of Mumbai. Right now I work as a business analyst uh, in a, a Swiss multinational bank. Uh, I think I owe a lot of my, if it, you call it success, I owe it a lot to the kind of uh, experience I gained in the library. I was uh, debating with the best legal minds uh, available in Mumbai. I was with the best engineers, with the best doctors, with the best accountants. All these uh, really groomed my personality. One school friend of mine, one Adi Variyawa, showed me this library. I liked it instantly and I became a member, ordinary member in 1970. When around 2000, my father expired and I was a little bit depressed and wanted to find some place where I can get solace and recover from the depression which I have gone in, little bit gone into. And I wanted to come out of that. At that time, I entered the, I, for, to find a solace, I entered this library. Here, when you enter this library, as I said earlier, you feel as if you are entering into a hall of knowledge. The future will be different because the whole world is now migrating towards virtual knowledge, virtual information sources. So David Sassoon Library also will have to rediscover its relevance in the new era. But let me reassure you that what it has been doing till now and what it is doing currently is as important as the acquisition of knowledge. The building is one of the finest examples of 19th century Victorian Gothic architecture that was in vogue at the time in England as well. And it's complete with all the Gothic elements of pointed arches, animal imagery in the, in the capitals of its columns. It has Minton tiles imported from England, a lot of rich Burma teak wood detailing that you can see in the trusses and the ceilings. And on the whole, it's one of the finest specimens of 19th century Victorian that we have in, in the entire city of Mumbai. So basically this is uh, the only library, this is the only library which has a very beautiful structure but the important thing is it has a very nice garden, you know, it's a social place. In Mumbai it's very difficult to find a place like this and if it is available it's only for the super rich. This is the only place which is for the average middle class where people have a place that to in South Mumbai to get together and uh, meet each other and network like a family. You know. This is something which was very special. I think the library without the garden or just the garden without the library would be incomplete. Uh, it would be like any other library. But because of these two combinations, we had uh, very intellectual people uh, also mingling around and we got exposure to a lot of uh, different things. We need more and more focus on culture. And when I talk of culture, I just don't mean popular culture. I don't mean movies and uh, television, popular culture for which Bombay is well known. I mean the traditional cultures, the classic cultures. And a library strengthens those. It strengthens the habit of reading. It provides access to millions of common people to go out there and read what they would otherwise not find access to. David Sassoon Library is a grade one heritage building under the Mumbai Heritage Regulations, which makes it the highest echelon of protection, which means that not only the exterior, but also its interiors 
need to be carefully protected and preserved for the future generations. I aspire to be a banker. I want to become an inspector in income tax. I aspire to become excise inspector. I aspire to become a chartered accountant by profession. I aspire to be a chartered accountant. I aspire to be a cosmetic surgeon. I aspire to do my MBA from a good business school. I aspire to be a CA. And I aspire to be an IS officer. It is important that the younger generation is prepared and handed over the baton for its continuance for the benefit of generations to come.